Hey YouTube, what's up? Cube three here, and it's been a while since I posted a video, but um, I got one. He's got a new package in the mail today. As you can see, it's pretty big. Um, I didn't order something that is definitely this big. But, um, you know, it is really like I don't know why packages got to be this big. If there's not something that big in it, there better be more stuff to make up for the size. Now, I'm not that greedy. But, let's get into this. I'm very excited. Let's go ahead. Woohoo. Very excited. As you can see, I ordered this from um, Barnes & Noble. And that's because, like, I could have got it on Mefferts, but it was cheaper at Barnes & Noble. So, <laughs> alright. Man, big package. Alright, what's this? This is all Barnes and Noble crap? What's this? Barnes and Noble crap? Okay. Ah, uh, Barnes and Noble crap. And there it is. Ah, Barnes and Noble crap. Oh, it's packaging. Here it is, the Meffers Gear Ball. Now, let me get this big box out of here. So, this is um, a shape modification of the Gear Cube. Um, don't really know I'm supposed to open this. Oh, like this? But, um, it's very popular. It is sold by, on uh, not only cubing websites, but in stores as well. So you can see, because I bought it from Barnes & Noble. Well, here it is. Uh, packing a little weight, but, you know, whatever. Oh, it's got interesting turning. Oh, wow. Man, this turns... This turns really good. Eh, a little choppy, but turns good. I like it. Oh, as you can see, it is a shape modification of the gear cube, and um, it is kind of getting caught actually. But um, it is very popular. It was mass produced and even sold at big name stores, um, such as not only Barnes and Noble but Target as well. You can buy it on Target. But I chose not to because it was cheaper. Let me see if I can shed some light here. But it was cheaper at Barnes & Noble, so I bought off of here. So, um, it does turn very good. It is a very good turning puzzle. Just kind of getting caught at some point in time. But yeah, it's really cool. I've never tried a gear puzzle before, and I heard that if you're gonna start with a gear puzzle, then um, start with the gear ball because it turns so nicely, and this does. It turns um very nice. So if you guys don't know, like the concept of a gear cube, it's basically um you turn um one layer, you turn like the right layer 180 degrees, it turns the middle layer um 90 degrees. So you can only do 180 degree turns to be able to turn it again. Because if I do a 90, the middle layer hasn't turned all the way, so I can't do another turn. I have to do 180s. Um, I don't. Really, I'm not really liking the color scheme, though. I really would have preferred if it took on the uh, normal look of the Rubik's cube. Like they kind of switch these two colors, and um, I do like that the white is um purple. Instead of white, like the purple kind of looks cool, but um, let me pop out the center caps here. Probably gonna tension it, but um, push that back on. But yeah, it just kind of um messes me up when there's a different color scheme on a cube. Man, this turn this turns really well. I'm loving it. So I've never um solved a gear cube before. Because I've never owned a gear cube. So let me give this a mix up here. Oh man, it's really going to mix up. Oh my god. I don't know if I'm going to be able to solve this. Hopefully I will. I may have to look up a tutorial. But I'm going to try to do it without looking up a tutorial. Man, alright. So I'm going to go ahead and try to get this solved. And I'll get it solved. And I'll get it right back after you. And I'll bleh, get right back to you afterwards. So guys, I did solve it, and um, figured out how to solve it myself, and um, it was definitely um, a little bit of a challenge. 
Um, it took me quite a bit to solve it, but, um, no, I did a few more solves, and after that, it was pretty easy. Um, but the cube does turn really good after doing a few solves. And, um, so if you're gonna start out with a U cube, start out with this one. Um, but you can also, um, pull. I did this, um, I tensioned the cube. You can tension these. It's kind of hard to do it, but you can kind of wiggle off the center caps. Just like this, and you reveal the screws, and they are tensionable. And after that, you can just put them back on. There you go. So, um, very fun to solve. Um, definitely go out and buy one. There are plenty of places where you can buy one. I bought mine at Barnes and Noble, or it was around 19.99. Um, in the end, with uh, tax and shipping, it was probably around like 23 dollars. But um, so that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you liked this video, go ahead and drop a like. And also, if you want to be notified for future uploads just like this, go ahead and subscribe. So, I will see you guys next time.